Hiya guys, this is a video um, showing you how to install Homebrew Channel on 4.3 by using the Letterbomb hack. First of all, you have to go down to the Wii options on the bottom of your screen and you have to get your MAC address. What you have to do is go to Wii Settings Now um, go to Internet, Console Information, and there's your MAC address. Write that down exactly how it is, and then um, we'll go on to the next stage. Okay, now you've got your Wii's MAC address, you've got to go over to this website, which is weebrew.org forward slash wiki forward slash letterbomb. I'll put the link in the video description. Make sure you read everything on this page, it's got the requirements and the instructions um, so that you know what you're doing. When you've done that, you just simply go over to the right here where it there is a little red envelope underneath the header letter bomb and click on download and then you will come to this screen make sure you select which um, Wii console you have whether you have a 4.3U or 4.3E which is me because I have a European um, console you have to type in your Wii MAC address here so I'm going to begin typing in mine. It'll be blurred out for obvious reasons. And then you've got to try and understand this squiggly right in here. Make sure you're not a bot which I find frustrating. I seem to be reading this one okay though. Sometimes I can't. And then you just click any one of these. And you're ready to go. And you just save this file. Um, then drag it over to your SD card, unzip it. And then pop it in your way. I'm just going to hit OK. Um, this is my SD card. As you can see, there's already files on it. So what I'm going to do is temporarily put them in a folder on my computer and then erase everything from the card. I've already got a folder on my desktop, as you can see, and it's called We Old. I'll just open up that now and um, copy my files to this folder. Okay, once you've backed up everything from your SD card to your computer, delete everything off the card. You know, you're going to be putting it back later. Right, once your card is black, drag the letter bomb zipped folder over. And we're going to extract you. <coughs> and that's it. You can now delete the zipped file off there. And all you've got to do now is take the SD card out of your computer and pop it in your Wii. Letter bomb will be in your messages. On your message board here. Yeah. Keep looking through your messages until you see a red envelope with a bomb inside it. Simply open it. And you just wait for it to do its thing until you're prompted to press um, the number one button on your Wii remote. This little warning will appear on your TV screen while um, the hack is loading up. Um, but don't panic because um, in a short while you will be prompted to press number one on your Wii remote to begin installing the Homebrew channel. And now you simply press number one to continue. As you can see on this screen, you have an option to install the Homebrew channel and boot me. Now what boot me is, 
is um, a safety net just in case you um, brick your Wii. Um, what most people do is um, install it as a boot tool. But I'll um, explain a bit more about that at the end of the video. I'm going to just hit continue now and install the homebrew channel. After you've hit continue, go on up to install the homebrew channel. And click yes, continue. And it's that quick. Hit continue and now I'm going to install boot me. Go on up and install boot me as a boot tool. Hit yes, continue. And hit yes, continue again. And let boot me do its thing. success hit continue I'm just gonna give you now a quick demo of what boot me looks like by restarting my Wii I'm just gonna exit and it will boot back into the homebrew channel but what I'm gonna do is just shut down the Wii so I can give you um, a quick look at boot me remember guys you will need a GameCube control pad to move between the options on the boot me menu use the directional buttons to move between the options if you go on the last option um, and go to the first option with the green arrow on it you can back up your Wii's NAN chip just in case anything goes wrong I'm just going to press A and go on to it for a second you just follow the prompts on your I'm not going to do it because I've already done it it takes a long time to back up your NAN chip and if you want to restore it then you go on the second option where you see the red arrow there I'm just going to exit out now and go back onto my Wii's main menu by pressing A and as you can see the homebrew channel is installed thanks for watching over and out.